my name is Ronnie and today we're working with add-ons. I'm going to teach you how to make my guard from my guards mod and we're going to improve it along the way. Now some of this stuff I have not tested so I will be learning alongside you guys but I will try to show you how to work through problems and if the video is too confusing I'm just going to cut it out and give you guys the correct answer. So like, comment, subscribe and join my discord. Today we're going to be making a wither skeleton that has vindicator uh, behaviors. It's a really simple thing to do, but we're going to set up the whole project. We're going to download bridge. And if you guys need some extra documentation and information, I wrote this as a guide and I will post it in the description. The first thing we want to do is go to github.com slash bridge dash core slash bridge. Now when we go here, you'll be greeted with a lot. You'll have all these downloads. We're just going to ignore all this. We're going to scroll all the way down until we get download the latest version. We're going to click on that. We're then going to scroll all the way down until we see bridge web setup. You're going to download that and run the executable. Should take a minute or two. And when that's done, I will see you in the next step. If you want to read why we're using Bridge, there is some information here. And I also gave my opinions in the guide down in the description. When we open Bridge, we're going to be greeted with a screen that looks something like this. First things I want to tell you is this first tab that looks like a folder in the column along the left is the behavior pack. The image icon is the resource pack. The creeper icon is the va vanilla packs. This is where we will get a lot of our information from and where we can create uh, templates from. The next tab is a book and this is the documentation. This will bring you to an outside website where it will give you everything you need to know. If we go back to the behavior pack tab, we now have a row of icons that say refresh, new project, new file, package, and open in Explorer. These are all useful tools, even package, although I will teach you how to package without using bridge. Now, if we click where there is a title, it will open another screen. And this will be all the files in your developmental folders. If we open the resource pack tab, it will change these icons in the row. We can still refresh, unlink the resource pack, create a new file, package, open explorer, delete pack. We're really not going to use anything over here except for new file, refresh, and open in Explorer. If we try to click the pack here, we cannot do anything. We can only change the pack in the behavior pack tab. To create a project, we want to navigate back to the behaviors tab, the behavior pack tab. Then we want to press new project. When we press new project, we want to name our project tutorial BP because this will be the behavior pack. We want to give it a description and we want to set the target Minecraft version to whatever Minecraft version you want to play this on. This now created a folder containing these folders and files. If we then go to the resource pack tab, we can cre press create. We will name this tutorial RP and give it the same description. This will now create and link 
our behavior pack, and resource back to each other. If we jump into Minecraft and create a new world, and go to our resource packs, we see now that we have added our resource pack. If we activate this, we notice that our behavior pack is still here and not activated. If I deactivate that, so now it is no longer in our active packs, and go to behavior packs, and activate this one, it will now be in our active. This is good, but we can do better. To ensure that our resource and behavior pack are running together, we want to open our behavior pack manifest file. You will get a page that looks like this. We want to right click this dependencies and copy it. We then want to go to our resource pack and open that manifest file. We want to click anywhere and paste it with control V. We then want to save, go back to our behavior pack, go into our header and get this UUID number. We want to copy this and we want to go back to the resource pack manifest file, go to the dependencies UUID and paste this paste the behavior pack UUID into here. After we save and reopen Minecraft, if we press play, create new world, if we now go into our resource packs and activate our tutorial RP, apparently we have a missing dependency and it did not work. So I left that last clip in because I did not save and it showed the error code you will get if your UIDs do not match up. So all I did was went back into bridge and saved my packs. Now if we go to resource packs and apply our tutorial pack, it will apply into our active. If we go down to our behavior packs, our behavior pack is now inactive. If we remove our behavior pack, our resource pack is no longer active and it works the same the other way. So if I activate my behavior pack, our resource pack will now be active. And if I remove our resource pack, our behavior pack is no longer active. The next step is not required, but it's something that I like to do. So in our tutorial resource pack manifest file, we want to open the header where it says name pack.name. We are going to change this to tutorial tutorial RP. I swear I can spell guys. And we're going to hit enter. Then we're going to go into description. And we're going to change the pack description to tutorial by Ronnie Mickey. And I'm just going to copy this because we're going to do the same thing in the behavior pack. So in the header file, we want to go to the name section and name this tutorial BP because it's our behavior pack and copy the same uh, description over. Now there's two ways we can update these files. We can update it by clicking description. So that description is now here. We can add a value or we can click the value and change it on the right. The last step is going back to your behavior pack. We're going to right click this text folder and delete it. We're deleting it because our resource pack and our behavior pack are tied together and our resource pack will have that folder. Now, if we open en underscore us dot language, we can delete everything in here for now and save to save all of your files. You can click file and save all. The last step before we create our entity is replacing the pack icon. Again, this is not required, but I like to have my image on my add on. So 
if we open an explorer we can open our tutorial rp folder and we can drag or copy an image in we're going to rename it to pack underscore icon we're going to delete the pack icon and then we're going to rename it to pack underscore icon. And if we click to com.mojang, we can jump right into our behavior packs. Make sure you go to developmental because this is where Bridge will save our files. And we want to go into tutorial RP and we want to do the same thing. Now, if your image is already named pack icon and you copy it in we can just replace the file in the destination now if you go to resource packs you will notice our resource pack has our icon and the same with the behavior pack now that our project is all set up we can create our first entity we're going to want to go to our behavior pack tab, go to new file, and this window will pop up. We then want to click entity, rename this to guard, and we will use a vindicator template. I chose vindicator because I thought the behaviors would be closest to what I wanted my guard to be. We will then click the arrow next to entity, the arrow next to description, click on identifier, Go to the add value bar and name this Valhalla guard. We're going to save by pressing control S. We're going to file save all and we will close this. You'll notice when we press new file, it created an entities folder and inside the entities folder is our guard file. If we open that, it will be the file we just created. We can't test just yet. First, we have to go to the resource pack tab. And here, we will also press new file. We will then go to the client entity tab, name this guard.entity, and we will use the wither skeleton v1.0.entity.json. point point entity dot JSON. Now we added dot entity because we already have a guard.json file. Now Minecraft will be able to tell the difference between these, but for our sake, we are adding .entity. And also, that is what vanilla Minecraft does. So it's always good to follow their naming convention. When we press create, we will get this screen. We wanna click on the arrow next to Minecraft client entity, the arrow next to description. And then we wanna click on identifier, and we want to add the value Valhalla colon guard. Now, if you didn't do the same identifier as I did, it has to be the same identifier as the behavior pack file. This is the last time we will be going to create new and create new world. When creating a new world, I recommend naming it uh, the name of your add-on so that you can keep reusing this world instead of creating multiple. Make sure you're in creative. As of right now, we don't need experimental gameplay, but if you plan on adding items or things that require experimental gameplay, I would take it now. It will not affect your add-on in any way at this point. We want to make sure activate cheats is on and I like always day and weather cycle off and mob briefing, briefing off. When we go to resource packs, we want to activate our resource pack, make sure it's active and our behavior pack should be active. When we create a new world, we let it load. When we load in, if we go to nature, spawn eggs. Our guard is now down here. If the egg is blacked out, it means your identifiers are not the same. 
So go back into Bridge, check your identifiers, and make sure it is Valhalla colon guard for both of them. Or if you had a different name, change it there. If we place the spawn egg, you notice we have a wither that doesn't burn in daylight and uses an axe. We now have our wither skeleton with vindicator uh, behaviors um, they're not hitting me for some reason right now but we'll figure it out later i am in survival um, i'm not really sure what's going on here but we'll figure that out in the next episode and we'll change the model and texture to the guard oh there they go they're hitting me now there we go well like comment subscribe and join my discord thanks guys